and my mic audio on. Alright, say thanks something? Huh? Alright, sweet. Okay, now, let me go here. Uh, and then, uh, do 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 properties, do 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 I don't want it all. Wait a second. Do, 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 do. Select the option. Capture specific window. I want it to be very specific. Ah, uh, where? Hmm. Uh, Sounds horrible. Okay. Once I didn't immediately pass out whenever I got home. What the hell are we doing? What color? Wet. Window capture, there we go. Not that, that's for sure. Oh, crud. Capture I want to do is there we go, Chrome. Done. Okay, but we're gonna start with this. Alright, we're starting with this. Alright. So You're going first? Yeah. So uh do you have anything to say as we start this? Uh welcome to hell. <laughs> I agree. Welcome to hell. We're gonna have a good time here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my own mic body audio in case I laugh too loud. Which I have a feeling will happen. Uh, I, so yeah. Course. We're starting with Sunny D, X Reader, because, uh, <laughs> my friend here has, in, has, uh, been like this. There's 20 chapters, we're gonna read all of it. <laughs> but this is gonna be a little Oh, oh wow! Oh, wow, that's some good art. Funny thing, I already <laughs> read the whole thing of it. Oh, that's perfect! Oh, man! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, okay. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so do you want to- All right, I I'll do this. All right. So, so who- So who character are we going to be? Hold on, let me pull it up. Wait, hold on. Which Sunny DX- Hold on, send it to me on Discord. Okay. <laughs> like, actually- Because I don't want to pick a different one and mouse reading two different stories at the same time. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it was the one I was just on. Alright, good, good. Sweet. Alright. Good. So who- so- so who- who? I- Here, I'll just go ahead. You can be the- you can be the needle. Alright. You can be <laughs> the person being insulted. Alright, sure, sure. Who <laughs> the fuck's- alright, so- Dan! Dan! Danny! Get off Danny, boy! No way! Bro, it's 3 p.m. and I did not come over to watch you sleep. Let's go! I watch as my good friend Dan. What? Uh, <laughs> no, we just. I was gonna ask, who's gonna be like a thought process? Ah, uh, I will do it. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. All right. I watched as my good friend Dan rolled over in his orange and blue colored comforter. His favorite colors are orange and blue for some reason, and I don't question him about it. He even dyed his hair orange. Any anyway, because of that, I gave him the nickname Sunny D. He's like a little ball of sunshine once you get to know him, so the name fits. Dan shoved me out of his room so he could get dressed, and I decided to roam around his house. The walls were covered in pictures I had seen many times before. There were family photos and lovely paintings scattered all over. I smiled at a particular photo of Dan's family. He had a family reunion and invited me, so he'd have someone to talk to since there'd be a bunch of people he didn't know. Wait, I just had an idea. I'm gonna look up a picture of Sunny D to add, uh, add on the stream. Uh, just so he's not just looking at the thing. And so there's something new. Uh, this is a good picture. They get a- take me to the picture. Perfect. God. Save image as the D. Man, how many fanfics are you gonna read? Uh, I don't know. We can go- we can, uh, read as many as we want to, really. 
<laughs> Until we get sick and tired and we just die. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wet. <laughs> so I got to I gotta find the thing. Hmm. Media source, there we go. Perfect. Okay, add source. Uh, browse. Uh. Pictures. Don't you just love the sounds of my sister rummaging through everything? Ah, uh, yes, wait, I gotta, I gotta get a different That's picture, actually... Sunny Day. It didn't work. Perfect. You don't really know much about that, though, do you? It says. The D, too. <laughs> Just. <laughs> mm, I just had the most time. Oh god, what? <laughs> so, so imagine if, like, okay, after they. Because this story is ongoing, like, they're still making chapters to this. Oh my god. Like, whenever I first. Whenever I read it, they were only on chapter 16. That is some dedication. Yeah. So imagine after, like, once they. Once just a person, or, like,. Once, like, the person finished. <gasps> oh my, that's where this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there it is, the D2.jpg. Open that. It is not valid! What do you mean what it's imagine? not valid? The okay, so number ah, fuck one. It. This is too much. I've read Whatever. other. I didn't even know they made other stories. Uh huh. So I didn't know that the stories. Uh, the other stories that I read from them was from the same person. Ah. <laughs> Um, but imagine once they finish recording the stories, because I know, like, three of these are still being made. Mm. Uh, imagine if they made, like, Sunny DX Reader 2, but, yeah. and then it's, this time Sunny it's Sunny DX Reader 2, <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we need to, we gotta continue. Uh, so when it came okay. time to take the photo, his mom pulled me and, in, and posed as, me with, as if I were her own son. I smiled at the memory. Dan's mom always treated my, me like I was her own kid, and Dan even told me that she loved me more than him. Finally, Dan came out of his room wearing his favorite orange varsity jacket and black jeans. I followed him down the steps as we went out the door. He grabbed a blue beanie from a coat hook and put it on his head. It's winter here, so it's very cold. Luckily, there's no snow yet, but I'm sure there will be some soon. Dan and I walked to a coffee shop nearby and quickly got inside. I rubbed my hands together as we stepped up to the counter. Then we ordered our drinks and sat down at a table. So, how are you, Dan asked, trying to break the silence. Oh, I'm doing just great, Dan. After you were almost kidnapped yesterday by some freaky vampire-looking dude who probably wanted to drink your blood, I just went home and took a nice nap, I said sarcastically. Gosh, gosh, Lachlan, you're so dramatic. I'm fine, aren't I? No, no one's drinking my blood, he said chuckled. He, that, he chuckled looking at him. I looked at him and, inside. And... Dan, you've got to be careful. <laughs> Who knows what that guy was planning on doing once he kidnapped you? Why are you even in that part of town? And in a sketchy alley way of all places, I asked, in, in sipping my drink slowly. Dan scratched his neck nervously. Dan scratched... oh. <laughs> nervously before looking up at me. I, uh, well, I saw, I saw a bunny and it was so cute I just had to follow it. I guess... I guess I wasn't paying attention where I was going. He trailed off. I sighed and facepalmed. Leave it to Dan to follow a bunny into a sketchy alley and almost get kidnapped. Dan, you're such a child. I smiled at him. He let out a nervous laugh in response. I don't even know why you worry so much about me, Lachlan. You kn you do know I'm trained in karate among among us. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> things, right? <laughs> you do know who my parents are. He asked, staring into my eyes. I shook my head. Of course I know that, but you're my friend. I care about you. Who knows what I would do to protect my precious Sunny D? I said, dramatically putting my hand on my head and leaning back. Dan laughed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not leaving anytime soon, he said, smiling. I smiled in the tone. We sat there, chatting, for about an hour or so before we finally decided to leave and do something else. So where are we going? I asked Dan, swinging my arms back and forth. His face lit up and a childish grin appeared. You'll see. Just follow me, he said, smiling widely. I tr- oh. 
I trusted Dan not to take me to an alley and mug me or anything like that, so I followed him. I was so curious as to where he was taking me, though. We walked down the street and took a couple of turns before Dan covered my eyes. Okay, 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 don't look now, he said, guiding me somewhere. I, ch I chuckled and closed my eyes. We walked for a bit longer before Dan suddenly stopped me and took his hands off my eyes. Okay, open, he said. I opened my eyes and both into laughter. Dan had taken me to a park. I glanced at Dan and grinned. Race you to the swings! I challenged, not even waiting for an answer before I took off running. Dan laughed and chased after me. I beat him I beat him into the dirt and immediately started swinging on his corpse. Dan caught up and started swinging on my also, on my <laughs> corpse. <laughs> I mean, Dan the ghost caught up and started swinging on his own corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's raining out, right? You chose to, to dance on your corpse in a park? I stated, trying to swing higher than him. Dan chuckled. You skipped my line. No, I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's freezing out, right? Oh, nope. You have I read that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, my ears decided not to walk for that one second. <laughs> sorry, I was just blinded by us swinging on each other's corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, can continue. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Lachlan, we need to go right now. No, 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 you, you skipped the line. You skipped, you skipped, yeah, but parts were fun. No, no, that was, no, that was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am very far down compared to, oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the parks are fun, he said with I shook my head at his childless. Child. We continue swinging for a while before Dan suddenly stopped swinging. I turned towards his corpse with a questioning look. He w he had gone back into his body, his face serious. What's wrong? I asked softly. <laughs> I don't know how I have a normal grade reading, reading level at this point. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Lachlan, we need to go, like, right now, he said, getting up and grabbing my hand. Dan dragged me away, kept looking behind us. After I felt we were pretty far away, I decided to say something. What is it this time? I asked nonchalantly. You see, Dan did this type of thing a lot. It's not really his fault that it always happens. It's because of who his parents are and what they do. There's been tons of times where Dan see someone watching us and we'll have to leave. At first made me really anxious, but now I'm used to it. Somehow, he has a lot of assassins after him. It's really weird. I don't know, but it, but he sounds like it's, he's committed many heinous crimes. But anyways, uh... <laughs> So, so you're gonna continue? Or... I, I, I know, just give me a second. To... Alright, alright. I don't wanna pick out that. Okay. It's the same old stuff, I know. <clears throat> nah. It's the same old stuff. I know they don't normally do anything, but I don't wanna risk it with you, Hill. Today could be the day they finally decide to make a move, you know? He explained, I nodded my head in understanding. Are you ever gonna tell me who they is or what any of this has to do with you? I asked, already knowing the answer. I told you, it's because of what my parents do, he replied. I sighed. That's what he always told me, but I never- But he never told me what his parents do. I worry about him sometimes. You know- First chapter over. Honestly, I was- What uh, are your thoughts? I was honestly expecting this to literally, uh, just be uh, this person, like, kissing a like a sunny d card <laughs> exactly. that's what i thought it's too just a like a, like a life size sunny d card like a face <laughs> that's what i wanted to do when i found this i was like please please let that be but it wasn't and then that made me sad and then the like who cares about the story whenever it might be about a person kissing a sunny d bottle yeah and also, if you guys if you guys stick around, eventually we're gonna get to um, uh, Sonic Ate My Toe. Oh God! At some point. <laughs> we're also hold on. We're also gonna be doing uh, SpongeBob X Squidward. <laughs> yep. Oh no! Hold on. I have I have uh, uh, a thing a thing thing I. It's a Shrek X Ward Far Quad. God, I wish I saved that one, but no, uh -huh. I don't want to go after it. Damn. But it's, uh, it's, uh, hold on. It's, uh, it's, uh, 
it's it's the fresh Sansa you think. Ah, mm -hmm. ah, ah. Mm. And it's like a, a one shot one, and like mm. one of them I remember was like super terrible. Mm. Mm. Saddest stuff. thing. Yeah. Saddest thing? No, just just saddest thing. All right. Anyway, so there was a lot about Dan that I didn't know. I knew his age and his favorite color, sure, but those were things. But those things weren't important. I didn't know what his parents did for a living or why he has people stalking him. That seemed like an important thing to know, especially if, if he's my friend. But he didn't want to tell me that, and that worried me. What was he hiding? After losing whoever was following us, Dan walked me home and then raced off to who knows where. I went up to my room and fell onto my bed, staring at the ceiling. I sighed. Take my mind off things, I decided to mess around on my phone. I went on, some, I went on Twitter and uh, got into a large argument and canceled multiple people. Dan and I just graduated, gra graduated high school recently and most of my friends have went this my time to vacation my last time before college. I can't speak anymore. I don't know what I wanted to do, uh, to be honest. I didn't really care as long as it meant living on my own. I wanted freedom, I guess you could say. I wanted to just beat people up on Twitter, I guess you could say. Dan once told me he wanted to be a police officer, but his parents wouldn't let him. He didn't uh, tell me why, but I would assume it's because they didn't want him getting hurt. But that didn't explain why they were still going to allow him to take criminal justice type classes in college. He told me he was planning on taking some friends' classes too, as well as some other classes like that too. That's a lot of two. Two two. Haha. <laughs> Femboy. <laughs> but why couldn't we take these classes too if he couldn't use them? I shook my head. Dan's family was weird. <laughs> I continued scrolling through Twitter before an interesting post caught my eye. Lucy Hartphilia. Oh my god, guys, these tell you starting to become really dangerous. Did you hear about the missing persons case? And also, I overheard an officer complaining about there being more drug problems. I can't wait to go to college so I can get out of here and go and go to the bar with my cool friends that definitely aren't gonna murder me. I throw my brows at the post. This girl went to high school with me, but I didn't know her very well. And missing persons case? I didn't know people were disappearing. And what's this about drugs? I need to investigate right now. This is my dream job. I just decided to look into this bit more because I was curious. As I was searching through Google, I got a text message. Hold on. <laughs> Drug problems. I need to investigate so I can get my hands on some. <laughs> 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 Sunny, we need to talk. Our heart sunk. These types of messages were never good. Um, okay, do you want to meet up, or...? <laughs> oh, is there anyone at... Oh, is there anyone at your house? No, nah, just me. Wink, wink. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> my, my mom's been over. <laughs> okay, but I'm trying to play Minecraft. Uh, I have pizza rolls. Come over, Ooh. I'm home alone. <laughs> 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 I'll be over in ten. Don't answer the door for anyone. I have a key, so I'll be- so I'll just come right in, and I'll also be selling a few of your TVs while I'm at it. <laughs> okay? Um, why shouldn't I answer the door? And why are you gonna steal my TVs? I kinda need those. <laughs> to play Minecraft on my Xbox. Just- 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 just don't, okay? Don't worry about it, just don't, okay? Don't. I'll be there soon. This looks weird. What's going on? Why is he acting so strange? Why does he want to steal my TVs? Is he gonna steal my Xbox? Oh no, is he gonna steal my mom? Crap! <laughs> I sighed and decided to change into something a bit more comfortable. I changed it to a maroon hoodie and some gray joggers. I figured I might as well be in a comfy outfit if I were to be told bad news. I went downstairs and entered the kitchen. While I waited for Dan, I made some tea. My favorite tea. Because I like tea. Fuck coffee. It's shit. A few minutes later, I heard someone at the door. There was a rattle of keys before I heard the lock turning and the door opening. Then I heard hasty footsteps and the door shut. There was a soft click of the lock after a few seconds. Dan was standing in the kitchen with me. Um, so what's going on? I asked, breaking the silence. Dan sighed before he ran his hand through his hair. Okay, look. You can't tell anyone what what I'm about to tell you. He begged. I nodded my head. Uh, oh, I wasn't gonna tell you any any of this, but you become, but you become involved. <laughs> But you became involved now, and you'll be much safer if you knew what's going on. So, it turns out, my parents are selling drugs and uh, kidnapping people. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, but he'll go nothing, he said, before taking a deep breath. My parents are into some illegal- oh! <laughs> My 
know, it's been to some illegal business, and I'm not There's talking deep anything shit, small. I'm talking about black market. <laughs> Wanted in several countries illegal <laughs> business, he stated. Oh shit, <laughs> think of it, arson? <laughs> I no hold on. I said the drug thing as like a joke. Uh -huh. Um <laughs> I blanked that would have fit it in the story. I blanked a confusion and waited for him to continue. <laughs> I won't get into too much detail, but basically they got a lot of people after them, bad people. Oh well good people, they're just trying to stop the drug and send out the drug <laughs> the kidnapping. Okay. And these people weren't trying to attempt anything with me at first, but, they, but they've but they suddenly got too confident or something because they broke into my house and they stole my TVs no! and my Xbox. And no! now I'm gonna steal yours. Did they steal your mom too? <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she... Thank God. Whenever they came in and broke into my house, my mom pushed me on the ground and ran out and used me as a sacrifice. <laughs> he continued, <laughs> my eyes widened. <laughs> and well, since they've seen you with me a lot, they might be coming after you too. He trailed off. I couldn't believe this. Dan, or Dan's parents, I should say, were basically criminals, and now there's people after Dan, and possibly me. Um, so, so, I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, I can sell drugs, I'm good at that. I asked, so I'm gonna find words. Dan ran his hair <laughs> through his hair again. His... <laughs> I, I let, I, I let my parents know. I let, the, I let my parents know what's going on. They're trying. <laughs> after I let my parents know what's going on. After my mom sacrificed me for the kidnap, <laughs> was to kill me. <laughs> They're going to try and do something about it. Possibly sacrifice me again Shit. before things get out of hand. But just to be safe, we gotta leave. We have, we have to leave all your personal belongings. And uh, skip town like most fanfic people. Oh, hey, I've done that before. I committed nice murder at the Papa John's that one time. That was cool. <laughs> Anyways, leave, I asked, unsure. Dan nodded his head. Just for a while. Think of it as a vacation, he explained. S My way too happy for ta just talking about how his parents kidnapped and sell drugs to people. My thoughts were running wild. I couldn't believe any of this. Please, Lachlan, we have to do this, he begged. But what about my parents? I can't just, like, leave like I want to, but I, I can't. They're holding me hostage. <laughs> After I committed that mass murder at the Papa John's, they haven't let me leave house. Have, they haven't let me leave the house. I have to sneak out. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, Lachlan. It's... it's uh, my parents will sell drugs, um, will drill, sell acid to them, and they'll never know you're gone. <laughs> but, uh, as so, about that, your parents think that you are going on a trip together. Oh, that we are going on a trip together, so they're okay with it, he explained. Uh, I will well, also I, be I, selling I... them acid, just in, a, just, just in case. <laughs> what? I questioned. Did he already talk to my parents? And, and why are my parents not asking clear questions about this? And why are they taking acid? I thought they didn't do drugs. This is I got clean after I was born. <laughs> I talked to your parents and asked if you you and I could go on vacation before college. And they were totally cool with it. For some reason, with like without any notice beforehand, I came up to your parents, you know, a friend, just a friend, not you, not both of you got us. No, just me over the phone and said, hey, I'm going on vacation with, uh, Rocklin. Okay? Good. Bye. <laughs> so, pack your bags, he said hesitantly. <laughs> I couldn't believe this guy. Actually, I couldn't believe anything right now. It's possibly some bad people after me, and Dan too? His parents are wanted criminals? They're gonna steal my TVs? They're gonna steal my Xbox and my mom? And they're selling my parents acid? What the fuck is going on? What have I gotten myself into? God damn it. I know I should have- I knew I should have- Go, gone ahead and skip town after I committed mass murder at the Papa John's. Actually, I should have skipped the whole goddamn country. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Hold on, I just got a spend, a send spend, and invest cash app ad. <laughs> the picture for the next thing is this femboy Sunny D. No, no, give me, no, hold on, I can't. It's still giving me the head. It won't let me exit out of it. I need Shit. to see this. No, I don't want Wattpad Premium. 
Fuck Wattpad Premium. <laughs> <Don't> even... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh oh yes. It. Hold on. Also, f hold on. Awful's no fun fact. Orange just makes them really sick. But they're writing us. They're writing. They have your in twenty chapters on Sunny D. Wow. Okay, go on. All right. Chapter well, I, three. Well, I contemplated my life decisions as well as how the heckity heck I got myself into this whole situation. Dan started packing my bag for me. That was weird. I I needed to go through my own shit, but whatever. I trusted he wasn't packing weird outfits. Dan pretty much knew what I liked and didn't like. Then again, he might throw something weird in there as a joke, but the majority of whatever he packed would be probably fine, I hope. I just hoped that he would put in my uh, really great shirts, like the uh, like beans, at 2 a.m. Uh, anyway. Me and the boys at 2 a.m. looking for beans! Yeah! Anyways, how long were we gonna be gone for? I asked, flopping onto my bed and staring at the ceiling. Dan took a few moments to answer. Also, another thing. We'll have a. We'll have a. Friendly, friendly. <laughs> How the family friendly? How the family friendly content? <laughs> well, dot dot dot. About that, another dot. <laughs> it could be. It could be as short as a couple of weeks. But if everything doesn't go as planned, we might be gone for a couple of months, maybe years. We might have to skip the country. We altogether. might have to be. We might have to act like Miles Edgeworth at the end of like Ace Attorney Two or whatever, and say that we choose death, but we didn't actually <laughs> choose death. Instead, we went off to Europe to es to escape Phoenix. <laughs> to escape. I mean, to escape Phoenix. I mean that man, uh, and and that certain man that definitely that I'm definitely not gay for. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, my eyes bulged. Months? Dan, are you kidding me? A couple weeks and a couple months is a big difference. What about college? I asked, trying not to freak out too much. Also, what about the fact that I am wanted in, like, the other state that I accidentally committed? Actually, I didn't act- I did it on purpose, but I act- but I committed another mass murder at, like, at, like, an Auntie Anne's pretzel place one time. D <laughs> They might not let me back in the state! Come <laughs> on! so many food places? Did they give you auto wrong or something? Oh no, I'm just not allowed back in the state! Because I committed mass murder at the Auntie Anne's and like, uh... <laughs> San no, 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 like, no, like, at the- at the Papa John's and the pretzel- No, at the Papa John's and the pretzel, uh, thing and- Did you just say Costco? Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, did they, like, get your auto wrong? Did they, like, did they tax you extra- Costo or something? Is that why you like mass modeled every mail? Did you just pull out like as soon as they got your auto on? No, like, I put plate. Well, like, here's you paid the thing. Like, I they put... didn't put tomatoes on my. They didn't put... No, 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 no. I put blades in the pizza and I put uh too much salt in the pretzels. Yeah. So you walked there? No, I snuck in the kitchen. <laughs> but like I was saying, did, did they like, as soon as you walked out of Pop John's, like, they pour mozzarella cheese, like a handful of mozzarella cheese on my sub sandwich? How do they? Tits out like a bazooka? <laughs> <laughs> just in your pocket, just in your pocket, like, just. <laughs> That's what you get for not putting a handful of cheese on it. Walks away from the explosion like an action movie. <laughs> my bag for me, opening different drawers of my dresser and placing random things into my suitcase. You do realize that with, uh, with, with, like, the virus and all, you have to do in classes, like, you can't actually go to college, it's, like, everyone's get like, no! <laughs> so, uh, you get but you still get the option, uh, to do the work online or in class, right? If this does turn into a long trip, we can we can both just do our work online unless we hack that explained. Oh yeah, I guess he had a point. I sighed loudly and continued to stare at the ceiling. <sighs> Where are we even going? I asked. Where do people usually go when they're hiding? I'd assume in in the country somewhere. I can't imagine where they we're going to travel very far though either. Maybe a few hours away at most. Oh, yeah. 
Ah, uh, dot dot dot. Well, you see, dot dot. <laughs> all, all I'm going to say is you might want to find your passport, you replied. Dan continued packing my things for me as I fought a mental battle, as I fought a meth battle. Passport? That means we're leaving the country? <laughs> How serious is this? Wait, what, if we don't speak the language and get mugged or lost? Or what if we catch some crazy disease and aren't allowed back in our own country and we get kidnapped and some foreign gang and sell the slavery? I should go ahead and try to get rid of my thoughts, but all I could think about was was my was my great grand pappy shitmaster who had to who had to go to another country and somehow successful successfully committed multiple murders. Anyways, back back into the main plot. Where exactly are we going, Dan? I asked seriously. At this point, he was now shuffling through my closet. Oh, uh, hold on! I'm putting my hill. Well, it's somewhere in the UK. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Good. It. Okay, what? Well, it's somewhere in the UK. Not Ireland, Scotland. It's near. Oh, so Norway. No, <laughs> uh, England and Wales. The thing is that <laughs> that I'm not sure how long we can stay there for. So we might need to go somewhere else. Dan told me seeing a little bit of a struggle because that. So they literally. Oh, they had the port was no way and it would have been fine. I guess. <laughs> I nodded my head in no, understanding. To, just to make the story. Alright. I nodded my head in understanding. This all seems so complicated. But at this point, all Not I could do was trust that Dan knew what he was doing. Dan exited my closet and walked out of my room, turning into the bathroom right outside my door. I heard him shuffling things around and I assumed he was still packing my things for me. I sighed. After a few seconds, I stood up and started to start packing myself back to the plane. I grabbed my favorite backpack from my closet and began putting whatever I thought I would need in for the flight in it. I put my laptop and its charger in, some gum, and some other stuff too, like my Nintendo Switch. But sadly, my subscription was about to run out and there was no time to renew it, so I became sad. Anyways, and other stuff too. Then I zipped up the bag and set it at the door of my bed. Dan walked in a few seconds later and set a bunch of my stuff into my suitcase. I saw my toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, and all the other bathroom things I usually pack for a trip. About 30 minutes later, everything I needed was packed and Dan was zipping up my suitcase. Then he flopped onto the bed, laying across my legs and facing the ceiling. Don't you have a bag too? I questioned, realizing he probably wasted all this time packing my own bag for me when he should have been packing his own. Oh, <laughs> no, it's already in- no, I would pass mine, you know, when more, like, people broke into my house, I had the time to pack a bunch of stuff, uh, like, three different bags, so, it's actually yeah. in my car right now, I also got the time to find my keys for, like, 40 minutes, and my, and my, Louis and my phone bag. truck. I nodded my head. <laughs> if my parents saw his car in our driveway, they wouldn't really care that he was here. He practically lived here half the time anyways. But my parents worked at night, so normally if Dan spent the night, we'd both be on our way to school by the time my parents got home. When are we leaving? We must be leaving soon if you have your bags with you, I said, closing my eyes and breathing calmly. Well, I'll fight in small early um uh, flight is tomorrow morning early morning and i know you're not a morning like i know it get very good like you will kill someone like you did to that jimmy drums and pretzel stand back in that other state <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> jimmy jimmy <laughs> but you can sleep on the plane okay wow I just believe... don't don't just don't bring bombs or anything don't like <laughs> hijack the plane don't worry, I wouldn't do what my grandpappy shipmaster did. But wow, I couldn't believe we were leaving so soon. I sighed and nodded my head, showing him I understood. Leaving early in the morning meant I wouldn't get to say goodbye to my parents before I left, but I'm sure I can text them some other time. I pulled my legs out from under Dan and slid out of bed. Then I walked to the light switch and turned off the lights. Dan moved so he wasn't sideways on the bed anymore, and I got under the covers. I went back towards the bed and made myself comfortable too. Sleeping in the same bed wasn't weird for us or anything. I mean, we were best friends, so we did it a lot. I wasn't gay. Totally not. <laughs> gay? Pfft, fuck that. Not. <laughs> I'm straight. 100% straight. I closed my eyes and whispered a good night to Dan before letting him take look, over. It depends. They never, they never said you guys, you guys had socks on. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> the next few weeks are going to be interesting. I hope everything goes well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this maybe this was a 
<laughs> oh, I know what program this Nexus art was made in, right here. It was made in this one called Sketch, but it died a while back. I know what? what? I, what? The, the art in this next one, I know what program it was made using, I'm pretty sure anyways. Uh, this program called Sketch, but it died a while oh, back, son. so, yeah. <laughs> he looks like a bad Kyoshima, <laughs> 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 no, that's uh, that. No, I know that's just like a fan thing. Yeah, but it, yeah. If I if I was dating if I was best friends with someone who whose hair looked like a bunch of mountains. <laughs> wait, oh no, wait, I just want to look like Pico. <laughs> Anyways, I don't remember much in the morning. I'd gotten maybe a few hours of sleep, so when Dan went to wake me up, I was basically a zombie. I can sort of recall him dragging me out of bed and pushing me into the bathroom with a pile of clothes and telling me to get changed. I don't remember the ride to the airport or going through security. However, I do briefly remember getting on the plane and fighting almost no seats next to each other. The left and right sides had three seats in a row, and the middle section had two. Most of the open seats were in middle seats on the left or right sides, or single seats in the middle. Dan and I walked hesitantly down the aisles, hoping we'd find two seats next to each other. Most planes had assigned seats, but unfortunately, this one did not. We continued searching until, around the middle of the plane, a lady stood up and greeted us. Are you two a couple? A brother and brother, maybe? Brother and brother, maybe? I absolutely love your hair, by the way. Anyways, I can see that both of you are looking for seats next to each other, so I'll do you a favor and sit and sit somewhere else, she said, smiling. She walked away with her stuff and sat somewhere else. The seat she had just moved from was one of the middle seats, meaning Dan and I wouldn't have to sit with anyone else and we'd have a bit more privacy. After that, I only recall falling asleep, which brings me to where I am now. I haven't opened my eyes yet, but I really don't want to, because whatever my head is resting on honest is honestly the best. I don't think I brought a pillow with me, and neither did Dan, but maybe the airline gave you one? Not really. <laughs> Not gay. <okay. laughs> I, I shifted my head up slightly in an attempt to figure out what I was laying on. It felt uneven and bunched up. I came to the conclusion that it must be a jacket or something. Probably Dan's. As I began waking more and more, my surroundings became clearer. My eyes weren't open, but I was slowly more aware of what was going on. Somewhere behind me, two people were talking just loud enough so I could hear them talking about... So I could hear them talking, but quiet enough that I couldn't hear what they were saying. I heard a couple of people snoring softly, and one person snoring very loudly. Beside me, I could just barely hear the soft breathing of Dan. As I woke up more, I became aware of how cold the plane was. Uh, even though I was wearing a jacket, it was quite thin and didn't keep me very sheltered from the cold air blowing at me. Goosebumps snaked up my arms, and I felt a chill run down my spine. Exhaling softly through my nose, I opened up my eyes and slowly... Read towards the air vent. I shut it quietly before rubbing my arms in an attempt to make myself warmer. It didn't work. I sighed and decided to bother Dan. Now that my eyes were wide open, I could see that I was resting on his hoodie, which had been bunched up and placed under my head. As for my head, it had happened to be on Dan's shoulder. Sadly, the man in question was still asleep. Honestly, sleeping Dan was the best Dan. His face always seemed so relaxed when he was sleeping under his mouth hung slightly, which I tried it was cute. I really didn't want to serve him when he looked so peaceful, but I was warm, so I didn't really have any other choice. I wanted to I stabbed him with my finger. I, I, with that, I poked him in the cheek. His cheeks were probably the squishiest things I had ever poked and snapped. He continued. I continued gently stabbing him in the cheek until finally his eyebrows scrunched together and his eyes seemed to close tighter. I was expecting what happened next. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not the thing. One well, of the squishiest things I had ever poked. Also, Orange just started to score from one of my pokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck, though? No, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not. Do I, do I have to read it? Do I have to read it? <laughs> I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, my eyes widened. And I quickly looked around the plane to see if anyone had heard. It didn't seem like it. Uh, well, the sound doesn't necessarily a moan, but more like a groan and a moan mixed together, like a like a uh, like a groin. <laughs> Back towards Dan, his eyes were half lidded, and he appeared to be very tired. I smiled at him and poked him in the cheek and stabbed him in the cheek once again. <laughs> Dan smiled at me and returned the gesture. Spot on my cheek that his fingers touched felt hot, and I slid fingers. And I brushed it off and smiled back at Dan. Are we there? Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> and like a little, and like little children would say on a, on like a field trip or something. 
Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Let's play our game. Are we there yet? Throw the car off the bridge. Hold on. Wait, I forgot that there's like comments to these. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold oh on, my god, there's 30 on, on this the one. one. Back, like... hold, on, the... hold on, the one backwood was um six comments to it, and most of them just with this, but uh, we fell for him because of Moan. It's <laughs> 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 fucking beautiful. That's, that's just it. That's the whole thing, and it's like it's like alternating capital to lowercase. case. <laughs> I replied, stretching my arms and yawning. <laughs> Dan also yawned before shaking his head. Wait, what? No, where are you? What? I am at. No, I'm just bored. I replied, stretching my arms and yawning. Dan also yawned before shaking his head at me. Uh. No. Oh, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Well, we are- well, we are kinda on the plane right now, so I don't know what you want me to do. He was spawned pick- it- <laughs> Picking up the hoodie off his shoulders and tossing it to me. I grinned at him before putting the hoodie on and basking- He didn't even- you never even said you were caught. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm keeping this hoodie now, I told him, hugging myself, because this is mine! You gave it to me, therefore it is mine, you're never getting it back, this is just mine now. Dan frowned the tiniest bit. I, I hold on. Wait, I'm not. No, hold on. Just two two things. I'm at okay. What? How tall do you think Dan is? Um. And then, no, go on. Hmm? Go on. What's the story? <laughs> No, with the question. Oh, well, you asked me how tall you think he is. Uh, I don't know. I'd say for maybe like five foot three or something. Imagine if he was the size of an actual Slimmy D bottle. Just, just putting that out there. <laughs> Found the tiniest bit, <laughs> but I like that body. He complained, gently tugging at the sleeve, which was much longer than my arm. Um, okay, it's rather you're shorter than a Sunny D bottle, or he just wears giant ass hoodies. <laughs> 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 Too bad you can have it back when I get tired of it. I replied, taking a deep breath. Anyways, what should we do? I asked, giving him my full attention. Dan stroked his chin comically before his face lit up and he put a finger in the air. He has Dan, we're on a plane. It'd be kind of hard to do in the dares. Also, if the dare is like, I don't know, like go and stab some random person, it'd be pretty obvious who committed the stabbing, you know? So, mm. I said, which instantly wiped the hole from his face. What the f- What does that mean? Of how- The hole? <laughs> oh, the hope! Oh, the ho hope! Right. No, it's- no, wait, it's ho, it's ho. Uh -huh. <laughs> they wrote down ho. Uh -huh. I thought you, like, <laughs> meant that as a joke. No, I didn't misread it, no. it was just there. <laughs> right, he turned off, slouching in his seat, then continued thinking until he had another idea. 20 God, 20 questions sucks. 20 questions? Damn, we already know almost everything about each other. Oh. Any other ideas? Once again, Dan sat in thought. I slashed in my seat and stared at the ceiling of the plane. This was going to take a long time. <laughs> a long <laughs> This next time. star, he looks like a little bit of an alien. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm getting another ad real quick, Shit. sorry. Shepard starts off strong. What? Oh no, it just sounds like me. God damn it. <laughs> hold on, wait. Let me hold on. Read it out to me real quick. Okay, so let this me make sure I heard you right. To... You read fan fiction? I asked Dan the Wildered. To pass the time, Dan and I just talked about <laughs> random things, like TV shows we've been watching or stuff. We'd seen on the internet somehow, the conversation shifted to reading, and Dan mentioned a really good book he had read. He talked anima animatedly about the characters and how he enjoyed the plot and the way he described it. It sounded like a pretty good book. So naturally, I asked him what it was called and where I could buy it. However, as soon as I asked this, Dan became super shy, which led me to forcing it out of him. He ended up confessing that he reads a lot of fan fiction, like... A lot of fan fiction, a disturbingly, a disturbing amount of fan fiction, like so much that he that he has actually looked through every single fanfic on Ao3 and read all of them, and now he has nothing to read that is quality. You kind of delayed for me, and you keep cutting out. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Hold on. Cough violently, real quick. <laughs> now I have a bunch of mucus in my ear. Oh shit. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh shit, you good? <laughs> here, I'll keep here, I'll Alright, hello. What? Back. Hello. Yeah. Da, da, da. I read fan fiction. What's the big? Okay. Yeah, I read fan fiction. So what? Uh, what's the big deal? He responded, twirling his fingers and darting his eyes around the plane. I gave him a wide smile. The deal is that now I have someone I can talk to about fan fictions. Dude, you should have told me sooner. We could have been re recommending stuff to each other this whole time. I replied, excited by my new discovery. Hey got maybe we can start like the voice and read fan fiction. <laughs> Wait, that's not what okay, we're doing right now. Um... <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. What? Oh god, I my cough got spread to you via voice chat. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, well, I was afraid you think it was weird that I read fan fiction. He explained. I, I scoffed. scoffed at that. I, I, Dan! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dan! Honey, we've been friends for how long? And in all that time, haven't you thought that maybe I don't care about anything weird people do because I'm not exactly normal myself, you fucking buffoon? Dan nodded his head. <laughs> and one part of the sentence, you know what I mean, where like someone screams and then like, they fade out? Mm -hmm. that, that that literally happened to you. That happened like, <laughs> at like anything. <laughs> you like faded out for a second and faded back in. Okay, just continue, just continue. Just continue. It's just like, anything, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that's all. what kind of fictions do you read? He asked, becoming a bit more comfortable with the conversation. I choked, I choked on, on him. <laughs> I swallowed some. You probably don't look at the next stuff I read. I feel like I'm, pretty, I'm much more interested in what, in what you're reading. I started out images of the previous fanfics I read floating through my head. God damn it! Are you, are you in the story or you read his? <laughs> now wait a second, that's not fair. I told you about the one I read, so you have to tell me about one you read. He stated, crossing his arm, pouting slightly. I saw. How I explain this? Alright, so, okay, so let's say the last one I read 
had a guy who was gonna, let's say, kidnap this person, but the person was actually pretty, pretty cool, so we ended up moving in with him instead. Well, this guy kind of belonged to a group of, um, people, and a couple of them ended up moving in with the person too, and then they trained the person in the stuff they do, and the person became like an undercover spy for the group. Anyway, a bunch of stuff happened, and the person was basically addicted to this drink, and then and in the end, the, this guy who was gonna kidnap them realized he had feeling for him, and they got together, and somehow this person became ruler of, uh, let's, let's call it a, a, a kingdom? I did my best to explain the story without giving away the weird parts that Dan would probably judge me for. He nodded his head and let out a yawn. Oh, I hate how that's. I do a lot of things like that, except not with the weird parts. Uh. Sometimes. <laughs> um, well, then I probably shouldn't delve into what I actually read. <laughs> <laughs> if you look through my search history from a few months ago, you'll be like, wow, what the f- God, I- no. You're talking to the person that she has a whole other voice trap where they just read Shrek has X years for a whole month with yeah, a bunch of other people. Yeah, but you, you did yours for laughs and giggles. I read my shit seriously for some goddamn reason. <laughs> We did for laughs and giggles, but at some points it was <laughs> for some. The Peppa Pig X, X one was too serious. Mm. I had that's all I have to say to you. All right, well we should just okay. We can... <laughs> just... Like, what? like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, did the guy like the person right when he saw them, or was it like a slow dance that playing? Oh. <laughs> well, things do not go slowly. <laughs> well, I think maybe at first he just saw the person as a friend, but then he started liking them and didn't realize because he's a fucking idiot, I answered, telling myself to become tired. Of his and fuck to keep his eyes open. It's Okay, whatever. No, he didn't. I was kind of angry at him for that. I think he should have told him how he felt as soon as he knew. But what if he was afraid? What if he told them and they didn't want to be friends with him anymore? Well, then they weren't very good friends in the first place. I, I don't think something like that should ruin a friendship, even if he was a little afraid. The worst that could have happened was, like, the person didn't feel the same. It might have sucked, but he would have eventually, and, like, they still be great friends if they didn't feel the same. Then he saved a lot of time and would have been wasted on what-ifs. Dan, oh. Dan didn't respond, so... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I assume he fell asleep. I tried to do the same, but the conversation just... <laughs> I it lingered in my mind. About these chemicals, and I, but as the conversation lingered <laughs> in my mind, I couldn't help but think about how disappointed my parents must be in my search history on AO3. But for some reason, my heart hurt at that question. <laughs> but I didn't. Be, but I didn't know why. Maybe it was because if he did like someone, I feel betrayed if he didn't tell me. We're best friends after all. I saw it and cleared my head. I'm not gay. I don't know how long it took me to fall asleep, but at this point, I did. I, I slept great for some reason, which was odd, because planes aren't exactly the easiest places to sleep in. I woke up to the sound of voices near me. A friend? Really? You two? Couple? Uh, not. Wish! When I, full when I felt more fully awake, I decided to keep my eyes shut. The conversation became much, became much, much clearer. You should tell him, the voice of a woman said. Uh, I can't do that right now. It's not a good time. Oh, so... <laughs> it... You good? I forgot what I was Damn. Didn't know. <laughs> I've been coughing. I've been hacking up. I've just been hacking like a dog after eating grass the whole time. <laughs> I don't think You've I'm good. You've been eating grass? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> The exact opposite. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> so you were eating a dog? It was a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> I ate that. What dog is, is too funny? big to eat. Our dog is like the size of a, a full-grown adult male. D 
<laughs> no, I'm not even joking about that either. He's almost as tall as my dad. Holy shit. <laughs> what if the good time never comes? Huh? Anyways, back to the thing. <laughs> yeah. So, what if, the, what if the good time never comes? The How long are you waiting for? How much time will you waste? The woman asked. <laughs> I heard Dan chuckle softly. I know, I know. I can't believe I'm telling this to a stranger and everything. I'll tell, but I'll tell soon. Yeah, just talking to random strangers on the plane that I, <laughs> that I left my dad beside me. <laughs> I want to get Will. Oh, oops. I'll tell him soon. I, I just want to get make sure memories before I risk messing things up, he replied. And, and, if, and make sure I don't accidentally forget to not wear socks. <laughs> I wasn't sure what they were talking about because I'm an idiot. What does he have to say? And who does he have to say it to? What is he risking? I felt bad for eavesdropping, so I prepared to pretend as if I just woke up. I took in a deep breath, scrunched my eyes, and yawned, sh stretching my arms out slowly and cracking a few bones in the process. It hurt. It, my bones cracked and went through my skin, but I'm good. I have natural healing properties. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they actually mean, but... Yeah, but that's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I know I have scoliosis, so I, as soon as I wake up, I just crack every bone in my body. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are my eyes irritated, but I'm laughing too. Give <laughs> 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 me a second to compose myself and I'll continue reading. Alright, alright, alright. I'll try and entertain them while this is going on. Here, I, here, I, I know what to do. Um... That was the worst joke I could have done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> How many people are watching this? A uh, one person. <laughs> We're going to. <laughs> I'm going to entertain them by going to Russia. <laughs> in Google Maps. <laughs> Russia in Google Maps. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, Lachlan, you're finally awake. We're almost there. Dan unfold me, smiling softly at me. I smiled back and poked his cheek <laughs> and stabbed his cheek. Did you miss me all out while I was asleep? I asked. I've only been awake for ten minutes longer than you, he, he replied, sounding very cocky for some reason, even though he got less sleep than me, so I'm the one who <laughs> won it one in the end. <laughs> <laughs> but did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh how oh how I missed my do, Auckland. I would have never been able to continue living had he not woke up just now. Though my time alone was short. It felt like century God. This sounds like a thing I just said. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that too. <laughs> like it, this is like word like character like the same exact character as the thing I just did. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, it felt like centuries that each minute was passing was a passing you in which I could not spend with my precious Lachlan. He responded dramatically, laying his hand across my lap and grinning up at me. Also, did that dramatic thing where he fell back and put his hand on his. Face, like he was fainting, like and oh, then he and then he actually fucking died, and he, and he flung on his <laughs> <again. laughs> And then and then his and then his body started rapidly aging until he was just ash and bones. <laughs> he had been cremated right on the plane. <laughs> I laughed at his antics. Uh, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a flight attendant smiling before quietly walking away. Perhaps she was the woman he had been talking to. I focused back on Dan and pat his head. He became back. He came back to life. This vacation would be fun. No, I patted his ashen bones and let them just sit there in that seat for the rest of the plane ride. <laughs> this is gonna be 
Okay, okay. Let's see what the Wait cover is on for the, the side. Next... On the side, it says "Error Ben X Reader." <laughs> <laughs> like you know, Ben. Oh Brown, God! You know the creepy pasta Ben. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I I read I I read the I I read the uh, like the first few chat. There's another chat. Uh, the the Eyeless Jack Exito one they have. Mm, mm. I didn't know they made an 18th chat. I was still on chapter 16. Bless you. Um. <clears throat> the flight was long. Let, the majority. Let of us. Let flight. us. But others spent their time in a different way. There were a few businessmen typing away on their computers, so focused on their work that they must have felt like they were there. They were in their own little world, isolated from everyone, from everything around them. I felt no interest in these men, for they were not hot and they were dumb. But I'm not gay, I swear. There were some students doing various tasks. One had papers sprawled all over their tray, many different colors of highlighter littering the pages full of words and uh, diagrams. Another had a thick book in one hand and a pencil in the other, furiously scribbling things down as they read. I wasn't interested in these people either, because they because they also weren't hot. I'm again, I'm I'm not gay, obviously. Uh, so I wasn't interested in. Uh, I was a suit myself, so I was really familiar with these actions, making them mundane and boring to me. I also didn't want to even think about being gay while on break. There were others doing different things from these. Children were watching TV from tablets, coloring messily, or playing with toys. Mothers were napping, reading books, or having quiet conversations with their husbands. And the husbands were busying themselves with their phones or sleeping. The elderly seemed to be making friends with others their age, talking about the old, the good old days, and talking about how they had to eat a live donkey because they ran out of food. None of these people were interested me. Or perhaps it wasn't that these people were uninteresting, but rather that there was something here, someone here, who invests, who interested... <laughs> who interested me far more than the rest of them. Dan, as the flight drew near to its destination- Because he's hot. I'm not gay. I became more and more interested in what Dan has planned. Where would we be staying? A nice hotel, a rundown inn, a house belonging to a friend, and what situation were we in? Do we need protection? Do we need to avoid going outside? Will we be monitored? Is the government actually lizard people? I never bothered to ask Dan any questions because I knew I would get an, I wouldn't get a direct hint to see if it answers at all. Instead I entertained myself with music from my phone and the occasional light conversation with Dan. Eventually it was time for the sacrifice. <laughs> the pilot announced that we'd be that we that they'd be throwing people out of the plane soon and as he said it. Time began to move much faster. Before I knew it, Dan and I were grabbing our things and jumping out of the plane to be sacrificed. We each had a backpack on our shoulders and phones in hand. It was a quick walk to the baggage claim, and in almost no time, we had our bags and were walking out of the airport unharmed, even though we jumped out of the plane. So, we get in a cab. Is someone picking us up? Do we have a uh, rental? Where is what's the stitch? I asked, following Dan on the sidewalk. Dan pulled a blue beanie over his head and fixed his hair before he unlocked his phone and began messaging with someone. No, no, thing is, they said, are we staying in a rundown inn, a friend's house, after we just been saying, like, there was a whole paragraph in the first chapter saying how wealthy his parents were. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay, whatever. Just, just... Yeah. Uh, where was I? Well, I was going to have someone from my parents, uh, walk to drive us around but it'll be a lot safer if we keep it down uh if we if we keep it down low for a while <laughs> going on with it say something that isn't even in the story go on with it all for jokes and laugh i've totally meant to say that um we'd be easy targets if we use if we use anything if if we use anything try to make my parents Yes, Gamma. <laughs> Dead. Sorry. <laughs> my brain can my brain can process it. Yes, We'd be grandma. easy targets Dead. if we use anything. Hold on. We'd be easy targets if we use anything tied to my oh. <clears throat> okay. Tied to my parents. <laughs> so for now we we take a new one. God, just, my brain did not want to process that. I'm just gonna that. imagine that character as he had just said all of that. <laughs> just like, just tried went, to tie to my- And just went, Grandma, <coughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um... Dad put 
want to be closer to his <laughs> to, to his side as the owner of the car wrote down the window are you sorry <laughs> you can be the driver are you sorry from amori the driver asked hesitantly I looked at Dan in confusion before he nodded his head and led me towards the vehicle. I didn't know he was from Amori and actually liked to eat cold steak and had a dead sister, but whatever. I looked at Dan in confusion before he nodded his head and led me towards the vehicle. The driver smiled and waited for us to get in. Are you Sunny from Among Us? <laughs> Are you impossible? What is those that have seven seats? The difference is that the front two seats were separated from all the back seats by some sort of wall with a small slit on the top of it. It reminded me of what Limo said. The slit was open right now, and through it, Dan exchanged a few words with the driver. After that, it was shut, and Dan turned to face me. Sonny? I questioned, not trying to hide my confusion. Dan smiled awkwardly before rubbing his neck. Well, you see, I didn't think it'd be good if we used our actual names, especially my name, so I went with the, with the first name that came to my mind. Sonny, because y'all just gonna be Sonny D, you know? Like, like Sonny Dick, anyways. He explained, I waited patiently for- Oh wait, shit, I just read your line. What the fuck? I just read your line. God damn it. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I was too- I was too occupied by the sunny- <laughs> But by the time we get to like chapter 10, it's just gonna- It's gonna be like, oh but yeah, my parents are dead, I- I ate cocaine, and I am now a shitting alien. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, this is like five years in the future, actually, uh, we're still- we're still on the run, we've been to every single country and we're banned by most- from most countries, uh, I- <laughs> we're all dr we're both drug addicts now, uh, <laughs> and we're, and we're still <laughs> definitely not gay, we're still <laughs> definitely not gay, despite- <laughs> Definitely despite, not gay. Despite kissing in an alley at 3am, without socks on twice, <laughs> but we, we, whatever, you know, pfft. Drugs. Yeah, both. Like everyone, everyone is dead. Everyone, everyone's dead. Uh, Lachlan nuked Oho Jimmy Jones because uh, they knew him. <laughs> he, he he nuked every single Jimmy Jones. <laughs> they every single last one was just. <laughs> No more Jimmy, no more sub sandwiches for anyone. <laughs> but also, all the radiation from all those Jimmy Jones being nuked blew up half the earth, and now there's only <laughs> a miracle left. <laughs> only Florida Man is left. But no, America America would be the one that's. America would be the one that's gone. No, there's only everything else but there's only everything on the south side of the hill. <laughs> the southern hemisphere left. <laughs> Safe from it was the tiny little sliver of land in Hawaii, of but it's still full of radiation. It was Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> the penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, it's still penguins of Madagascar. And I need to see this. Hold on. No, Wait, this what? is no longer a joke. I need to see this. Wait, what? Penguins of Madagascar Wait, you... fanfic. Whoa, no! <laughs> 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 Pingu fan? Hold on. No! Don't do that to my favorite <laughs> show! Don't you fucking- We're not reading that. No. That is my favorite show. It, we're not doing that. No. No. Uh-uh. 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 No. No. Never. I would never do that. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> we, we gotta continue. <laughs> That said negative in it, and I and I wrote like ne negative. Oh my negative. god, there's works on AO3. Holy no way! 
There! Uh, oh my god! No, 185 works in the Penguins of Madagascar. I, some, There's 485! Some, like some, some people like them. There's 485! <laughs> 485! Oh, dear God! Oh, no! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, no! Imagine how- 485 are horny for penguins! Jesus Christ! Imagine if they were all just made by the same person. That'd be impossible, but funny. Oh, no! Oh, God! We're gonna need to read some of these now, aren't we? <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe, no! maybe another time. We got it. What gotta... the fuck? Oh, <laughs> wait on, wait There's on. Send me a link of what you're looking at. Wait, what at. the fuck? A lorry? The penguins of Madagascar are just being Audrey who's being racist. <laughs> How did this come to be? Oh, I don't know, but I need to save this for later because it seems so good. Oh my okay. god! Yo. Another car, another stream, or whatever. Another thing. But right now we have to see if we can even get past this Sunny D extreme. Oh, Tales from the Questy Quab! Quackity Explorer! <laughs> Are you okay? It Fucking sounds hell. like you it sounds oh like you're like the Oh god! Did someone just stab you or something? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Jesus fucking hell! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, oh my God! Imposter slash Groovy! <laughs> Alfredo slash Remy! Uh, no, not Remy! I can't fucking breathe! <laughs> oh, no. Gee, I can't fucking breathe! I can't fucking breathe! I wonder what if I am fuck? okay. I can't Jesus breathe. Fuck. I'll probably be fine. I wonder if there's any fanfic for the Bible! <laughs> Dude, I mean, if there's one from Shrek X Jesus, there's gonna be one for the Bible. <laughs> My vision just went blurry for a second. That's how he's good. Fucking hell. God damn it. Jesus Christ. Bible fanfic chapter one, a Bible fanfic. Honey, this is a f this is for fanfiction. This place to my OCs living in ha at hard world. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Fucking god damn it. I mean, I never got a... <laughs> Oh, Hold on. <coughs> okay. <laughs> gotta gotta cough away all that. Everything that just happened. <laughs> I got something. If there's someone. God damn Lachlan, if there's someone you don't like nearby, just cough violently like you're gonna <gasps> die nearby. I already am gonna fucking die, Jesus Christ. Wait on, is there, is there an Arby's ex -Zedo? I don't know, but I'll look it up. <laughs> Our things are sweeter. Oh my god, there <laughs> Of course there is! There was- A whole company made a dating sim. Why did I not expect that? Just a normal day till you start to cry for me! <laughs> <laughs> We can. God, oh, Jesus! I'm saving this to uh, to the to the fix for videos, so I can just <laughs> save this for one time. <laughs> <coughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Don't don't die until the fanfic's done, okay? Okay, but we so have I'm gonna so need you at chapters. school tomorrow. So, but we have don't so many die. Chapters. 
many chapters. We still I, got... I know death death is death is very tempting. Yeah. But so is reading this whole fanfic. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go, alright. <sighs> we were at well you see, I didn't think it'd be a good idea if we use our actual <laughs> names. Huh? What, what, where we're at the part of what you see, I didn't think it'd be good to use their actual names. Oh! Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I got sent back to the start of the chapter. <laughs> well, you see, I didn't think it'd be good if we used our actual names. I know I already said this, but I said it in your voice, which was weird, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I guess Especially it. my name. <laughs> so I went with the, the first name that I could come in mind. Sunny, because it always called me Sunny D. Sunny Dick. You know? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Do you already have a name for me, or do I gotta come up with one? I have many ideas. I asked, already thinking of the name I'm gonna use. Well, I think Locke is like. Oh, wait, fuck, that's your line again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Lachlan is okay for now, but we can give you a new name later if we need to. I'm not sure if those people will know more about you than just your friend of mine. Maybe we'll give you the name, uh, <laughs> Crime Duel or God, like... <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> God. God. But, but not gay. <laughs> just think someone say God, but not gay. <laughs> Imagine the Bible. You have the Holy Bible and then subtext God, but not gay. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh man! Oh man! We got. I nodded my head in understanding. Well, surely if they know what you look like, then anyone with you is in danger too. So shouldn't you be wearing a disguise or something? And me too. I asked, trying to be sure we were safe. Well, about that, not a good, not a good thing whenever they think, how do you feel if you had blue hair, he asked. I look at him closely, eyeing his trademark orange hair. Dan, with blue hair? Shouldn't you be trying to blend in with everyone else here? I asked, thinking blue hair would make him stick out a lot more. But that's what, but that's what they'd be looking for. That's why they expect us to do. Blend in. God, that was such a <clears throat> So instead, I'll change my looks up a bit so I'm not too recognize- Hold on. I'm gonna need this in my brain. So I'm not too recognizable. But I won't try to look like everyone else, he explained. Okay, then. I replied, That's basic. And I'm not a there. basic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess blue would look okay, I told him. Dan's body leaned toward me, lacing his hands into my hair. <laughs> so what would you think about get going on? <laughs> so what would you think about going on? He asked, hints of excitement seeping through his words. Orange? Like your hair now? I asked, trying my best to imagine myself with orange hair. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna lie, I did imagine myself with orange hair like Dan's in the past, but that was mostly because I thought it'd be cool if we had matching hair. You know, like how best friends have bracelets or matching tattoos, and I'm totally not gay, I'm not suppressing anything, you're gay, fuck you. Yeah, I like my hair. I mean, I mean, wait, what, fuck. That's <laughs> your- Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my hair, he replied, fingers no longer in my hair, but in his own. Yeah, I guess I could do that, I responded. Dan beamed. Great, because we are on our way to the hairdresser right now, he informed me. I didn't know what else I expected. <laughs> the time skip! Getting our hair dyed took much Even longer. No, time skip! <laughs> <laughs> so we have to hype that up. <laughs> Getting our hair dyed took much longer than I would have thought. Nonetheless, I was happy with the result, and so was Dan. Afterwards, we were driven to the place we'd be staying. It was a long drive, but nowhere near as bad as the hours-long flight we took to get here, and the drive was worth it. We pulled up to a nice-looking house. It seemed to be well taken care of, and even the yard was nice. The house itself was light blue, but maybe more of a medium blue? It wasn't too dark, and it wasn't super light. 
The frames around the windows and the roof were bright white, and the roof was a slate gray. The house didn't seem to be huge, but it was a decent size. Probably a bit big for two people. Uh, the yard was a fresh green and looked as if it had been recently mowed. A stone pathway led up to the steps of the house, and the whole front yard was encased by a white fence. The entrance to the yard was an iron gate, which, like everything else, seemed new. From where we were, I couldn't see the backyard, but there was one thing I knew for sure. We were close to the beach. The smell of salt air and the warmth of my skin, the crashing of waves, and the distant calls of birds all told me somewhere it's near the ocean. I fucking hated that, because the beach kind of sucks. Sand gets everywhere. It gets in your crotch, it gets in your eyes, it gets in your fingers, it gets in your ass crack, and salt? Ah, who loves salt? On, I, I like it on food, but I do not like the smell. Anyways, also, birds steal your shit. Anyway, so is this where we're staying? I asked, unable to contain my disappointment, but also excitement at the same time because it's a nice house, but I'm sad about the beach thing. Anyways, Dan chuckled softly and smiled widely at me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> just, I, just, just the, um, <laughs> just, no, so, uh, it's everything special new. This house got this house got built as like as when you know that like three hour flight we were just on. Yeah, no, the house just got built in those three hours. It didn't take months like some buildings. No, just three hours. That's all. The, yeah, the house was, might was, fall it, down. Yeah, it was a house in a can just add water. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fully grown yet, so it might collapse on us. But you know. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. So you better, but yep. So you better get inside and pick a room and get ready to be crushed by <laughs> building pieces. <laughs> you, <laughs> I but you want to pick out a room before I do. <laughs> I spread it towards the house of joy. Even if we weren't the best situation, sure felt like it. I couldn't help but wonder what would happen next. End. Wait. End of chapter six. End. Got another ad. Wait, I have something to say. I say, yes. I say, we we leave this for another stream because I because I still really want to read the fucking Sonic ate my toe because that seems just hilarious, man. Like, come on, who, who wouldn't want to read You're Sonic right, ate my toe? Here, I'll send you the link. See, how long? How long have we been doing this? Uh, I'll tell you, and well, after I send you this, let's see. Uh, an hour and like twenty-five minutes. An Obama? I I thought I that's not what I expected to be. <laughs> I know, but it is. And just yeah, and just the description is just yes. Don't know. I. Hudson <laughs> University. I gotta save that. I don't know if this is like I I, I don't know if like yeah. Are you good? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not good. First of all, the the the, the front cover. Uh -huh. The ear isn't even colored in. Oh, but the ear isn't even colored in. <laughs> See, that's not what, that caught me off guard. That caught me off guard. Just everything. Well, we gotta read it, so. But I thought this was like a Dr. Eggman one. That was my only guess. Oh, no, no, no. I have another- I have a doctor- I do have a Dr. Edman one, though. But we're not reading that one right oh, now. We're saving that for later. <laughs> it's- it's a lover boy, a Dr. Robotnik X reader. Anyways, we're reading this. We gotta read this. <laughs> Come on. There's only, like, 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 pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's twelve. There's yeah. 12 chapters. Yeah. So, come on. <laughs> They're very short, Simp too. University! Uh-huh. Go ahead and roll in a class. Wait, I already major in that. Uh-huh. 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 Anyways, so who do you, do you want to be God, Sonic? I just... Robama. <laughs> I'll be Sonic. Okay. I, I think I'll be... <laughs> okay, I'll be Obama. <laughs> Chili dog. <Come> <laughs> Alright. Uh... America. Fell. I was walking through this. I n hold on. I was running through the school yard, the school hallways, and knocking over everyone and stealing their rings. 
When all of a sudden, Obama crosses my mind. It's probably because I just passed all history class where we met for the first time. His good looks. <laughs> I can't read. I, no, it's not even a pause for like, haha, funny, or like laughing. No, it's just that I can't read that wall. <laughs> Receding? <laughs> Receding. <laughs> Stopped in my chat. Hold on. His good looks and receding hill lines stopped me in my tracks. I had. How how do I have a normal reading level? They got I don't know. <laughs> Probably because you're not reading out loud, more like just reading in your head. I've had I've had a huge crush on him ever since. Ever since it has been three years, although we have somewhat drifted away from each other. <laughs> we so occasionally talk when we pass each other in the hallway. It's been a few months since I've seen him in the hallway. I've, I've even zoomed around town to see if I could spot him somewhere. You know, like a stalker. <laughs> you know, I was stalking. Like a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had no luck. One, my brain decided to actually work. I asked a few of his classmates. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> my brain doesn't want to process that. Uh, classmates and friends, if we knew <laughs> what happened to him. Turns out he had been going to school lately, but has... He had been going to school, late school lately, but has been leaving early. For the past few months to go and visit his grandmother in the hospital. Oh, I felt really bad about the whole thing. I decided to meet up with him for lunch before he left the next day. I've been spacing out in class all day. All I can think about is how I'm going to meet up with him before he leaves for the day. The lunch... <laughs> the lunch bill. <laughs> the lunch bill <laughs> finally <laughs> The, <laughs> the lunch meal finally rings while I'm in the middle of my thoughts. I, it felt like an eternity since the day had started. I rushed out of my class and down the hallway until I got out of school. I, bleh, I waited from I waited from until I saw his beautiful face and sharp brown eyes. Hello, cat. Um, <laughs> turn the corner and open the, the front door. And open from the door. <laughs> from the from the door. Hey, Obama, long time no see. I call out to him. As You'll I, fight POV now. As I turn the corner and open the door, ready to leave for the bus to go visit my grandmother, I hear somebody calling out for me. Oh, oh hold on. I'm trying to pet my cat. <laughs> hey, Obama, long time no see. I look around to see a familiar blue face. I smile when I see Sonic. His blue body and so and spiky soft hair were just so cute. I yes, I've had a crush on him for the longest time. Ever since I saw him at the train station on my orientation when first starting high school, I call back, feeling my face heat up as I walk towards him, leaning. <laughs> hey, Sonic! <laughs> Once we reach each other, we shake hands and have small talk, catching up with the which each other. How have you been? It sucks. We're on the same class this year. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. You're too slow. <laughs> yeah, I miss talking to you. <clears throat> Your turn. Uh, when Sonic says this, I feel my face get hot and red. Y yeah, me too. I try my best not to seem flustered and try to give a sweet smile. Sonic looked at me with concerned face. Are you okay? <laughs> you don't look like you're feeling well. I'm feeling fine. I'm just a bit worried. He, referring to Sonic, gave a sweet smile. This gesture made my cheeks a light shade of pink. I heard what happened. Oh wait, that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard... <laughs> I heard what happened to your grandma. I'm sorry, bro. The term bro I'm stuck sorry. in my mind. Do you know what friends call each other? Does this mean we're friends? That's totally awesome if we are. I think it's excitedly to myself. It's okay. I ba it's bound to happen sooner or later. Seeing as she's an and seeing seeing as she's an old ass lady, I smile still thinking about me and Sonic <laughs> being friends. Well, fuck my grandma. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. Ah. <laughs> wow, that was a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think about shit before I sneak. You know, 
<laughs> you know the person I've been visiting in the hospital like lately and been missing school level? Yeah, it was bound to happen. <laughs> sick and all and yeah, then just like, just like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's fine it's fine oh, i can't help but smile when i see obama's face getting a little bit red after i tell him i enjoyed talking to him and when i called him bro he was just so cute Gah. <laughs> Gah. I want to marry him. I got my cheeks a little red myself, not wanting to hold him any longer. I say my goodbyes and head on in and head in my and head in my way. Just before I reach the door, Obama calls out for me to wait and starts running towards me. I turn around and give a confused look. Yes, what can I do, you? But <laughs> okay, you Obama's always fucked. Obama's cutting his pants. Panting, trying to catch his breath. W what's your your contact information? I want I want to sell you. I want to talk about your cause extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> I would like, I would like to hand it, hack into your, your bank account with your personal Give me your Robux! <laughs> <laughs> I need to buy more Robux to buy. My dad said no. My, <laughs> my, gra my dying grandma wouldn't buy any more Robux for me. <laughs> He asked for two reasons. I blush after I process what he asked me for. I, I, uh, yeah, was all I managed to muddle out. The bell rang and the cleaning lunch was over. You're at a train station and out of the school area. How can you hear the bell? It's because loud. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I meant the bell. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Indicating lunch was over. Me and Obama exchanged glances at each other. Then the Beal. Beal. <laughs> he looked at me and spoke. Meet me here at the same oh, spot. Wait, no, After school, I'll be waiting. Oh, what? Meet me here at the same oh. <laughs> spot. I'll be waiting. No, no, no. <laughs> to then... Wet. I nod and head into the school, grabbing everything I need for my next class. The day only seemed to go by slow, like it seemed like an eternity. <laughs> oh, oh, how was I? It seems like an eternity has passed since I've last seen my Prince Silver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh me, oh my. It's time to crucify. Obama? <laughs> <laughs> oh me oh my, it's time to stop to- If only I had the power to affect the speed of time and not my own speed. Okay. I couldn't stay focused at all. Obama was on my mind at the. Hold on, I lost. <laughs> I need to make. I need to make the font bigger. My eyes cannot. Shit. My eyes do not walk. Wait, whatever. Just got to deal with them. Uh, I couldn't stay focused at all. Obama was on my mind. The image of him blushing at my words made me smile. I can't believe I would have been meeting up with him at the end of the day, even if, yeah, even if it was just to exchange 
contact info and nothing more wink wink nudge nudge <laughs> I I'm just I'm staring at like the Discord call on my computer. Yeah. <laughs> just just like look so just wink wink nut okay. <laughs> it would it would still make me happy just because I got to be around him. You know something like Stalker would say. Kinda. The end of the day finally arrives at the last Scorpio be beetle things. I use my super speed to get to my locker and rush out of school bearing. Hold on, imagine like you know how some people go so fast and like trying to unlock a locker and they keep messing up or something or like putting in a password? Yeah. It's like <laughs> just that's probably what happened. <laughs> just not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Fuck. You're too slow. <laughs> The end of the day finally I rushed out of the school building to meet up with Obama and pray I'm quite quite sometime only. Grandma does not exist in this one, does it? I don't know. Is this still the first chapter? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish for 12 of these. Yeah, me neither. The end of the day finally arrives. The last girl bell is my city. The, the, the fountain. Mm. So I decided to sit by the water fountain and wait. There's a water fountain in the train station. Yes, yes. There inside is. of the school. No, it's outside of the school. <laughs> water fountain outside of the school. Because yeah, yeah, and then, but the school, but this, but there's a school bell in the train station. Exactly. There's a school bell in every single building in that town. Yes. Who runs the town? Yes. Okay. Sometime only, so we decided to sit by the water fountain and wait. While I'm sitting there and playing mobile games, you know, the Sonic mobile game where you can get everything for free and you don't even have to own anything, a shadow from. Somewhat tall human being, Obama, he looks down at me and mumbles something. I can't hear what he said, No, can I see his face? Sorry for any mistakes, I keep having to literally no sleep and fell asleep in the middle of this. Nice. That was only 965 words. Apparently so. <laughs> oh man, this has been going on for an hour and 40 minutes. Harry what? Potter, oh. Hey. Obama, 10 Sonic. Hey, dude, do you want to uh, finish reading this tomorrow in another stream? Yes. All right. Please, my then, eyes are dying on Then me. it is planned. Another stream tomorrow, around maybe the same time, we're going to be reading the rest of the Sunny D and the rest of this. Good, we, we did not make a single dent in this one. That's the sad part. It's all right. It's fine. It's it's cool, dude. But hey, well, I will see. Oh, there's time. a new thing. Oh, this never mind about sleeping. There's like a whole new chapter I have to read in this other book I'm reading. Well, well, anyways, that's it. Goodbye. Go come back to the stream tomorrow. See ya. I guess I don't know.